Kanda Mandala Karam Yaptam Jena Chara Charam Tat Padam Dashitam Jena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Agyanat Mirandasya Nananjana Sakshat Para Brahma Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Jana Mulam Guru Bhatti Tuja Mulam Guru Adam Mantra Mulam Guru Vakyam Moksha Jaya 
जय राम जय जय राम जय राम जय जय राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय
Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Welcome, my Friday tribe, my Friday friends, my Friday family, my Friday gang. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's another like 94 degrees day in California and you know, the state is becoming the poster child of climate change. Uh, but we're hanging in and uh, dealing with it and trying our very, very, very best to keep our hearts open and creativity alive and sharing with all y'all alive. Uh, right now, it's funny, Nubia is downstairs downstairs you know our house is a little kind of little by a uh, silo barn silo and she's in the bedroom teaching her teacher's training and i'm up here usually newbie is sitting with me and um smiling rolling her eyes when i burp and uh but now i'm alone in this room except for you all so i'm really 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 glad that you're here and um, I have something to, sh uh, you know, cool and I think beautiful, I hope, to share with you. Uh, today, which is the, the eve of Navratri, the, the nine-day festival uh, that honors and worships the Divine Mother in all her many forms, I released a single. And the single is called Time and Again. And... and I don't know, some of you might have... No, I never sang it on, at one of these Fridays. So often I had it on my list, but it kind of chickened out. Um, it's a song that Nubi and I wrote together, um, based on a prayer from the 16th century poetess, Mirabai. Uh, many of you, of course, know about Mirabai, but some of you don't. And, and she was born into a royal family in Rajasthan, but when she was a little girl, a, a wandering sadhu passed by. Can you imagine 16th century India with sadhus walking around? And Oh, gosh, it must have been so amazing. Anyway, he, he saw this little girl and he recognized in her something that no one else had seen. And he reached into his satchel and he gave her a small statue of Krishna. 
aspect of Lord Krishna. And the little girl uh, Mirabai was so completely moved that she fell in love not just with the statue, like as if it was a toy, but she fell in love with the God within the statue, with Lord Krishna. And she played with the statue, and she danced with the statue, and she sang with, with Krishna, and, and grew up, and uh, entered her teenage years, and her, then into her 20s, and she was madly, 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 passionately, divinely in love with Lord Krishna. And her beloved, Krishna, came to her every night. She didn't sleep like normal people slept. She slept mostly during the day. And at night she danced and played and loved with Govinda, with her Lord, her beloved Lord. And, um, you know, of course people around her began to think, well, something's wrong with this girl. Um, so they thought by marrying her off to a prince from a neighbor, neighboring kingdom, they would kill two birds with one stone. She would become a married woman and enter married life and all this craziness would go away. And second of all, or maybe first of all, the two kingdoms would unite and become stronger. Just like in Game of Thrones, they would do that stuff. Well, lo and behold, nothing changed her relationship with, with Krishna. And um, her husband, and the people of the court became, began, to, began to get very angered. Uh, you know, they weren't worried anymore, they were angered because there was, there was no, she wasn't getting pregnant, there was no heir, there, you know, and she wasn't doing her wifely duties as like, I mean, in, in terms of the royal household and the royal palace and guests and this and that, whatever they did in the palaces of 16th century uh, Rajasthan, she wasn't doing it, she was just, in love with Krishna. So, so many um, threats were made and, and finally her husband had his assistant or attendant, I guess, pour poison into Mirabai's milk, which she would drink every night. And, uh, but her attendant, her beloved, beloved servant, came to her and he said, uh, as she said, there's poison in this milk. You shouldn't drink it tonight. And she held the milk. This is, of course, legend, you know. She held the milk and she said, if my Lord wants to take me tonight, let him take me. If not, tomorrow I will leave the palace. So she drank down the milk and, and as legend has it, she was fine. Nothing, nothing affected her negatively. And the next morning, she, she packed a... a just a bundle, and she took her ektar, one-stringed instrument, and she left and wandered North India as a sadhu, singing songs of love and singing songs of longing, singing songs of presence and singing songs of absence. And she settled in Vrindavan, the holy town of Lord Krishna. And actually, um, I've, I've been to her home. You know, the, the, the government of India has preserved this little, tiny little hut kind of place, where they say she lived until, until, it, until old age. And I went in there and I sat for a while. It was really amazing. So her songs are sung in villages and in, in classical concert halls all, all across the world. So Nubi and I began a project called Songs of the Mystics, where we are, I won't say translating because we're not translators, but taking poems from Mirabai, from the bowels of Bengal, from Tulsidas, from Chandidas, from many of the mystic poet saints of the 16th and the 15th century in India, and kind of reimagining them for as modern songs. So Time and Again uh, is the first release from this album. And I want to say a big thank you because on my birthday, way back in June, uh, on Friday night, June 12th, we did a one-night fundraiser for our Friday night live stream concert. And that fundraiser, it, it took a while, not because of lack of funds, but because of COVID. But that fundraiser paid for the recording of this song and one other song, which um, <laughs> is not quite done and will get released. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who donated back on June 12th. Uh, 
uh, you can now hear, stream, download, whatever, time and again. And I'm listening to you a solo version of it right now. That was like the longest introduction for a song, wasn't it? Consolation Only in your name Can I find peace Time and again Time and again Night after night, I'm 
weaving a blanket of years Singing to you is my salvation Only in your name can I find peace Time and again Time and again Hey Govinda, hey Gopala, Miraka hey Prabhu, Kiridara Nagara, hey Govinda, hey Gopala, Miraka hey Prabhu. Nagara Hey Govinda Hey Gopala Miraka Hey Prabhu Giridara Nagara Hey Govinda Hey Gopala Miraka Hey Prabhu Giridara Nagara Hey Govinda Hey Gopala Miraka Hey Prabhu Giridara Nagara Hey Govinda Hey Gopala So Mira Kehe Prabhu means, oh Lord of Mira. She's, she's kind of signing, it's a signature. Oh Lord of Mira, Giridara Nagara, you who holds the mountain with your pinky to protect all the villagers from the flood rains. Uh, Nubia came upstairs just for that song, I have to tell you now, she just left. Um, and Mira, uh, and Krishna, who holds up the mountain to protect us all from, from, from the myriad disasters and catastrophe, catastrophes of life. She says, oh, Lord of Mira, who lifts the mountain of pain. So, um, Let's go right into a kirtan. I think I sang it last week. Um, Kunja Bihari. Maybe, uh, maybe we still have the words up in some chat. Ratika, I don't know. But I just want to sing it and let's see what. Let's do it. Uh. Murali Thari 
Radha Piyari Krishna Murari Govinda Govinda Gopala Govinda Govinda Gopala Kunjabihari, he who dwells in the forest. Hey Giritari, just like what Mira was singing, he who holds the mountain. Radha Pyari, beloved of Radha. Hey Manamali, that's Krishna, garlanded with jungle flowers. Govinda, Govinda, Gopala, Govinda. Govinda Gopala Kunja Bihari Muralitari Muralitari He who carries the flute Radha Piyari Krishna Murari Govinda Govinda Gopala Govinda Govinda Gopala Govinda Jaya Jaya Gopala Jaya Jaya Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jaya Jaya Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jaya Jaya Radha Ramana Gopala Jaya Jaya Ah Kunja Bihari Egiritari Radha Piyari Hevanamali Govinda Govinda Gopala Govinda Govinda Gopala Jabihari Muralitari Radha Piyari Krishna Murari Govinda Govinda Gopala 
Govinda, Govinda, Gopala. I voted yesterday. We put our ballots in the ballot box and cast our vote. So I hope that you all are doing that. Um, you know, I, I always want our Fridays to be a refuge of the refuge. I'm sorry, from and a, a bit of solace, solace to all of us in this crazy, crazy, crazy time. So I certainly don't want to <laughs> talk about politics, but I want you to make sure, I want to make sure you all vote, okay? Now is a time when, when we can't be silent. Yeah, and I and I really hope that you all uh, either go to Spotify and listen to Time and Again, or to Apple Music and listen to Time and Again, or to iTunes and download Time and Again. That's even better. Uh, I want to see see y'all see y'all on one of those platforms, and you know. Just let me know that you're out there and enjoying the song. So, th this 
next one, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. We've done a lot on these Fridays, but I'm going to do it again. I call it my Campfire Sri Ram. And uh, many of you I know know it. Shri Ram, 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 Sh
Shri Rama Jai Ram Shri Rama Jai Ram Shri Rama Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Rama Jai Ram Shri Rama Jai Ram Shri Rama Jai Ram Jai Jai Shri 
राम 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 श्री राम 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 Well, as I said earlier, tonight is uh, the eve of Navratri. Navratri is a very important 
holiday in our tradition um, in all of Maharaji's temples, and actually so many, so many, so many temples ar around India. It is the beginning of nine days of deep, deep worship and puja to the Divine Mother, the Goddess. She, she who holds us all and nurtures us all and births us all and takes us to the other shore after death. The Divine Mother, Saraswati, Lakshmi, Durga, so many names, so many forms. And um, I want to sing Jaya, Jaya Jagadambe. Durge, Durge, Durge. Durge is another way of saying Durga. And I'm going to get my harmonium back. And yeah, this is a song that probably you guys have heard me sing so, so, so many times. And I've sung it so, so many times. And I get bored of songs, um, my own, you know. But I haven't gotten bored of this. So sing with me if you're able and feel like it.
Durga, 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 Ma. Jai 
Jaya Ma, Jaya Jaya Ma, Shri Ma Jaya Ma, Jaya Jaya Ma, Shri Ma. Thank you all once again so, 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 so much for joining me tonight, this afternoon. It's getting darker earlier, you know, I, I, oops, I see the room is, has gotten quite dark, although outside it's still pretty bright. Um, I'll see you next week, I hope. I'll feel you next week, I hope. Um, as always, I want to thank our wonderful co-creator, our support, Ratika Ovra, in the beach outside of Boston, Boston. And even though Nubia wasn't here tonight except for that one song, I thank her forever and ever. 
And I thank my guru in Kroli Baba, and I thank my mother, my spiritual mother, Siddhi Ma. And I wish you all a good weekend, a good week ahead. I wish for all goodness in the world, and as I say almost every week, I think, you know, the love and the energy that we vibrate while we're singing, we have spread around the world, you know, like this cocoon of comfort and this cocoon of compassion and love and, and healing energy. Uh, we all need it. The world needs it. And that's it, I guess, for now. Namaste. God bless you all. Love you all. See you soon. Ciao.